If you're looking for a delicious vanilla cake with a melt in your mouth crumb, then my vanilla bundt cake recipe is for you. And if you love this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. This vanilla bundt cake will be ready before you know it, so let's get started. First off, set that oven to 350 where we want it nice and toasty so this batter has a place to go. We're gonna measure out three cups or 360 grams of all-purpose flour and toss that into a big bowl. I'm using a scale today, so I know it's gonna to be totally accurate. One teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. That's it for the dry ingredients. We're just gonna sift this out. Sifting's optional, but it's my happy place. Now we're gonna whisk it up and then set it aside. Our scale's done for the day. This gets set aside, and now we're just gonna grab that stand mixer. Pop a paddle attachment onto your stand mixer. You could also use a hand mixer for this if you want, just get a really big bowl. Now we're gonna have eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. Mmm, me encanta. One cup or 226 grams of unsalted room temperature butter. This cake is so good. It's the kind of thing that you pop onto a cake plate, keep in your kitchen covered up and everyone just passes by, has a slice and you notice the day is just going that much easier. Everyone's got a smile on their face for some reason. Then your cake's gone. We're gonna cream the butter and cream cheese up, scrape the bowl down once and then we're gonna add the sugar, eggs, all that delicious stuff. These were really nicely room temperature. This mixed up right away. I'm just gonna scrape the bowl down and now it's time for the sugar. This, by the way, would be so delicious on toast. Ah, can you imagine? Ah. Now we're gonna add two cups of sugar. That's 400 grams. This is a big cake. All right, mix it up until it's light and fluffy. Start on low and then work your way up to high. It's gonna be about five minutes. After two, give it a scrape down. This is gonna be light and fluffy. So this is part of the key to getting a cake that's not really dense, it just melts in your mouth. There we go. We'll be back in five minutes. As promised, we're gonna give this a scrape. Mm, oh my gosh, do you see the texture on this? It is already like fluffy clouds. We're just gonna finish mixing it up so that it has no clumps of unmixed butter. It's gonna mix for two more minutes. Now we're cracking six eggs into a bowl. See, just then I found one piece of shell, so when that happens, you use the eggshell to fish it out. If you have a better method, you can let me know in the comments. Light, fluffy, full of air. We're gonna add three eggs in one at a time. Let it incorporate before adding the next. All right. This is kind of the fun part. I love learning little tricks for baking. So you wanna have a fluffy cake, not dense. You're beating a lot of air in. But if you just added six eggs, it would weigh the mixture down. You wouldn't have a really fluffy cake. What we're gonna do is mix in three of the eggs or half. And now we're taking a little break to one, mix the bowl down, but two, we're gonna add in a little bit of flour. Three tablespoons, and they could be a little generous, it's not exact. And then we're gonna mix this in on low. There we go. And a third tablespoon, in you go. Okay, now we can add in the remaining eggs and you're just gonna see a real big difference in the mixture. I love that golden color you get from the egg yolk. Last egg is in, we're gonna add some nice vanilla now. Mmm, I love that for me. It smells so good. Almost done. We're gonna mix in the flour, alternating with one cup of whole milk. Add in that last half of milk, half of the milk, along with the last remaining third of the dry mixture. Stop the mixer. We're not gonna finish this with the mixer. We're gonna finish it by hand. I sound like a broken record if you watch this channel a lot, but if I overmix the batter, it's just gonna make my cake dense and gummy. And it's so sad when you follow all the instructions, but you just mix it a little bit too much and it's not as amazing as it could be. So get that batter off of your paddle mixer. And then we're just going to fold in the dry mixture 
And this is also nice because you're scraping the bowl down while you do that. And look, you can see total ribbons of different mixtures. That's not what I want. Scrape all the way down and you're gonna get a nice mixture. So easy. I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute while we prepare our mega bunt pan. Butter and flour or baking spray. Also wash your hands, you filthy monster. <laughs> All right, butter and flour all done. We're gonna pour the batter into the pan. Just get some good coverage all around. Halfway through, you can kind of just press the batter down a little bit. That way you know that all the nooks and crannies are gonna be properly addressed. Get the remaining batter right into that pan. One more shimmy with your spatula. Lastly, we're gonna tap the bottom like this just to knock out any air bubbles in case they're there. This bakes for about 45 minutes at 350 on the center rack or until a toothpick comes out cleanly into the oven. My cake is cool. It has this beautiful golden color. I'm so happy I didn't use baking spray. It makes a huge difference. Now we're gonna make our easy glaze with two cups of powdered sugar. You don't have to be super precise with the measurements. It's okay. Pour in three tablespoons of milk along with half a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix this up until it is a nice drizzling consistency. It should be fairly thick uh, and not too runny. You wanna see the drips if possible. Look at this consistency. That is so pretty and really smooth. Spoon that right over the top and you can just let it drip gracefully over the edge. Do you see the crumb on this cake? Look at that, it is golden and softer than soft could be. If you like this video, check out my Bundt Cake playlist. That crumb is so good it should be a crime. Brian's gonna love this cake. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and I'll see you in the next video.